Good afternoon and welcome to this very special streamed event recognising the invaluable contribution the community and voluntary sector of Cork make to the life of its citizens. This is unfortunately the second time we've been unable to celebrate the work of such organisations in a way befitting of their contribution, but to quote the adage that we cannot cure, we must endure. We have just lived through a period unlike any in our history and are now hopefully beginning to see some light at the end of the tunnel. Before March 2020, Zoom was something one did with a quality camera and Teams were something we watched or played in. We've had to dig deep to find the resilience and courage for which we as Corkonians are justifiably famous. We have taken our meetings and organisations online in a way and on a scale we could only have imagined. Yet still, we are a city of communities and those communities also adapted in ways deserving of our admiration and thanks. Unlike previous years, where we would have received hundreds of nominations and shortlisted almost 20, this year we took the unusual step of asking the community leads in the response forums to recommend which organisations typify that strength of purpose flexibility and resolve across the traditional categories. It seems unfair to select one organisation over another, but in highlighting one, we shine a light on all organisations working in that sector and ask them to accept the accolade with the humility that already underlines their efforts and contribution. I would like to thank especially the Customer Service Unit in Cork City Council who have supported the work of all 16 community response forums and all members of such teams. Thank you. When I addressed last year's recognition event, we were three months into the most challenging pandemic in living memory and had implemented the Community Response Forum Network. Few of us could have imagined or envisaged that 12 months later some of those restrictions would still be in place albeit that the rollout of the vaccination programme and the gradual lifting of restrictions is now returning us to some version of normal. What COVID-19 has taught us, however, is that nothing, not even a global pandemic, can get in the way of the committed people of Cork in supporting their neighbours and the vulnerable in our community. For its part, Cork City Council had continued to support those communities in more flexible and innovative ways in addition to the grant supports, pedestrianisation projects and the transfer of its iconic annual events to online or virtual platforms. There are many City Council staff on the ground that worked with community groups to make valuable changes to the lives of people they serve and still so are doing working remotely as we adjusted to the restrictions imposed on us. The Council has facilitated and supported community gardens and every year more than €250,000 is made available to community groups throughout the Community Grant Scheme. It has been successful in applying for and achieving funding for the delivery of tablets to enable the elderly and isolated to access online content. Community properties in community associations and sports clubs have all received supports over the year from Cork City Council. Tonight's celebration marks the work of organisations the Community Response Forum saw as being particularly innovative and supportive, but in truth any of the organisations shortlisted could have been chosen and are worthy of our appreciation and thanks. I join you all in congratulating and thanking them and look forward to celebrating the wonderful work of our community and voluntary sector in a venue and at an event worthy of their contribution in the near future. The Lord Mayor's Community and Voluntary Awards is always one of the social highlights of the year in Cork. A packed city hall, hundreds of supporters and family members, but best of all, some of the finest people and organisations this country or any country has to offer. People who give their all every day and every night to enhance the lives of their fellow citizens. Every year, those are the local heroes recognised by the awards. This year, under our outstanding Lord Mayor, Joe Kavanagh, the occasion will be different. This is because of the COVID emergency. We can't have the big night in City Hall, the lovely gathering afterwards for refreshments and chat, but the quality of the people being honoured is exactly the same. 
The positive vibe they generate is exactly the same. The contribution to Cork is exactly the same. Simply outstanding. The Community and Voluntary Awards have been repurposed this year as the Cork City COVID Heroes Awards. Each of the community response teams were asked to nominate organisations who have found new and innovative ways to reach out to their members and those they support, with some introducing new services in the midst of the pandemic. The Echo and Echolive.ie, as Cork's daily community news service, is proud to be associated as sponsor with these awards, as we have from the beginning. I often say that our newspaper is deeply connected with and embedded in every street and every neighbourhood in Cork. We have been reporting on our city since 1892, so we know what's going on and what's important to Cork people. And we are wrapped in admiration for each of the five category winners and the overall winner. You are the pride and joy of Cork. We look forward to celebrating you in the pages of our newspaper and online on echolive.ie. I know your families and friends will be absolutely thrilled to see you get the recognition you so richly deserve. The members of the ECHO and ECHO Live teams, like all of your fellow citizens, want to join the Lord Mayor in extending to you our very warmest congratulations. And finally, could I just recommend that you sign up for our daily newsletter, which you can get if you look at echolive.ie, and you'll get a great feed of local news and sports stories free every day. Thank you. Councillor Joe Kavanagh, Lord Mayor Cork, I'm delighted to be joined here today by the Lady Mayoress, Stephanie, and we're so privileged and honoured to be joined by um, Phil Goodman um, of the Young at Heart uh, Douglas Seniors Club, and uh, we're here to um, recognise Phil and her organisation for standing out and uh, making a significant difference to our local community during these very difficult times and in COVID times as such. It's been a very hard year. And um, every year, the Lord Mayor presents the Lord Mayor's Community and Voluntary Awards. And we invited um, so many organizations right across the city to make a recommendation or a nomination of a group or an organization within their local community. That has made a significant difference to people so Phil's, Phil's organisation, the Young at Heart uh, Douglas Seniors, were recommended and nominated by a number of groups. And uh, so a lot of people are very appreciative, Phil. And we, we, we had lots and lots of nominations. It was a tough decision, but at the end, there's a committee there. And the committee came up and decided that uh, the Young at Heart group, of which I know that you're a long-standing member and your own... <laughs> personal voluntary contribution to the elderly in Cork City is, is well noted and well known. So Phil, on my behalf and Stephanie's behalf, we just want to congratulate you, congratulate all your team in Young at Heart and everybody who avails of the, of the uh, services of Young at Heart. I am deeply honoured and delighted to receive this award on behalf of Young at Heart Douglas. We're 21 years this year and I'm still as passionate about it as I always am and I love older people and trying getting services and events that keeps them active and happy and that's my main focus I think all my life. So again, thank you Lord Mayor, thank, thank you me. Lady Mayoress. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you Phil, thank you so much and We're just in, con in conclusion this. I'd just like to say they're lucky to have someone as young as yourself young. With, the energy, <laughs> with the energy and the, and the drive to and the passion, as Stephanie says, to, to make such a significant difference to so many people's lives, and particularly over the last 21 years. We're absolutely thrilled and privileged uh, to be here to, to, meet, uh, to meet Valerie 
Valerie Kirby from the Blarney Healthy Club. And the past year has been a very difficult year for citizens right across our city. And um, I'm delighted and very proud to present the Lord Mayor's Community and uh, Voluntary Award to the Blarney Healthy Club for their incredible contribution to people in the Blarney area and indeed in surrounding areas. And I have to say that um, so many people felt that your organisation made such a difference to their everyday lives. And uh, it's been so different for everybody in the last year. Health is very important, whether it is your mental health or your physical health. And to have an organisation such as Blarney Healthy Club in your local community is a huge asset. And the people who voluntarily get organise themselves and help, whether it is Meals on Wheels, whether it is uh, organising people to take part in healthy activities like the, the 500, uh, Blarney 500 mm. run, walk, cycle, I know I'd be driving it, <laughs> but uh, and of course getting over 35s out, so I'm nearly eligible for that, <laughs> Stephanie, am I nearly eligible for that, so, so well done uh, Valerie on that, you should be so proud, and I'm so proud as First Citizen have such wonderful voluntary organisations and voluntary being the key word. I'm always shouting about Cork is the, the real capital, but we are indeed the real capital when it comes to volunteerism. And Blarney Healthy Club is very much, very much a part of that. So Valerie, congratulations, really proud and privileged that you've come in here today to accept this uh, award. Uh, on behalf of the, the Blarney Healthy Club. Um, initially when we started out with the Healthy Club we just wanted to get people in the community moving and get them healthy regardless and irrespective of their age and what their ability was. And we started off with our Wednesday night walks um, and people used to turn up at seven o'clock on a Wednesday evening for a walk and a chat, that was it. Do two rounds of the village and home. And we did that for three weeks before Covid hit. And then we we were kind of on a roll and we had loads of ideas so we wanted to help out as much as we could so we got involved with the Blarney um, Covid response team mm -hmm. and um, we got involved with Meals on Wheels, we set up a library in our local centre for people that didn't have access to their local libraries now or charities or whatever. Um, we organised chats on a Wednesday night to um, on health and well-being, on fitness and nutrition, just to give people a bit of a boost and give them, I don't know, some sort of an outlet, give them ideas for, you know, the next few months. Um, we felt that older people in our community were very lonely and isolated, so we got the local primary school children to write letters to them before Christmas. Wow. And it was brilliant. It was definitely a bridge yeah. between the generations. Yeah. The young kids learned a lot of the older people and vice versa. It was really, really lovely. The biggest success really was the Blarney 500. Mm. Um, we initially thought we'd raise about €3,000 and we ended up raising £17,000. Um, and to put things in perspective, the um, Blarney Meals on Wheels were able to renovate their kitchen and put in a better ventilation system we were there, actually. from where they were cooking, yeah. um, which was huge. And yeah. one of the older ladies in our community, Jenny, is in her 80s. Yeah. And she was involved with Meals on Wheels for years, but she was just out of hospital. And on the day herself, she did a lap of her own estate oh, just to get involved this is this is the Brilliant. huge range in ages that we have involved in the community it's been it's been lovely we've gotten to meet so many people that we probably would never have met yes you must be so proud oh, you must be yeah. so proud yeah. and it's an absolute honor to be here today really is the money, <laughs> yeah. absolutely fantastic yeah. thank you so much thank you so much It's wonderful to be here to, with Stephen Kelly of Mayfield GA Club. Um, we're here at the presentation of the Lord Mayor's Community and Voluntary Award. And this particular section is the Arts, Culture and Recreation category 
uh, where Mayfield GA Club have certainly you know, distinguished themselves. Um, Mayfield GA Club is a wonderful organisation in the northeast uh, side of the city, uh, providing uh, invaluable, um, I suppose, facilities for young people uh, right, across, and right across our community of Mayfield. And the fantastic work that has been done by, by the club has been recognised, making a huge difference to so many people in the community far and wide in the northeast side of the city. Uh, whether it's collecting prescriptions for elderly people, delivering food hampers, and just literally keeping the connection lines open with elderly and vulnerable people in the community. And I'd like to congratulate everybody involved uh, with the Mayfield GA Club for getting involved in our community response team in the, in the Mayfield area as well. Um, so, so much has been done by the members of Mayfield GA Club and I'd like to personally thank every single member that got involved and for everybody involved, of course, with Mayfield GA Club who make a daily significance, huge significance to so many people. And I was up recently at the uh, return to training and the launch, myself and the Lady Maris launched the uh, forthcoming fundraising yeah. event uh, for, for the new uh, AstroTurf training pitch uh, on, on the pitch facilities in Mayfield. And it was wonderful to see young people back training, uh, the excitement on their faces. But what really struck me was the number of parents up there watching their children and also the number of coaches voluntarily giving up their time. On behalf of Mayfield GA Club, I'd like to thank the Lord Mayor and Lady Mares uh, for inviting us in here today to accept the award. I'd also like to thank all the people in the community that nominated us, but most of all I'd like to thank all the members, the volunteers and everybody that got involved in the community response. They did a lot of work, they've given a lot of hours to it, and without them it probably wouldn't have happened. So on behalf of myself, the club, I want to just thank everybody for their a huge effort that they did put in and hopefully we can still contribute to the community in years or the years to come. Thank you very much. Thank you. Much. Thank you should you. be very proud. Thank, thank you, you, Stephen. Thank you. Today we're awarding the Community Development um, section and category to the Lantern Project based in Nanonagel Place. Um, I, I'm well aware of the Lantern Project and the contribution that the Lantern Project makes to people in the city. Um, the Lantern Project reaches out to so many people right across society and provides a wonderful and invaluable service to people. Do you know what, in, in, in difficult times that we've had over the last 12 to 15 months, uh, projects like the Lantern Project are absolutely invaluable. Giving somebody somewhere to go, somewhere to go to feel that they're part of something and it's a great way for people to communicate with each other and to feel and, and probably to recognise talents that they probably never even knew they had. Mm. And, and the Lantern Project ticks all these boxes. So I, I want to congratulate Jer and your team, Jer, for the magnificent work you do and the service which is invaluable. Uh, thank you Lord Mayor, on behalf of myself, uh, my colleague uh, Karina Healy, uh, the Lantern Project and everybody at Nanonagel Place. It's been a pleasure, thank you. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy the, the painting. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's from Simone Walsh, local artist. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful, it's, it's of the English market and so at the start we said will we get something from the north side or will we get something from the south side but so we decided we get, we'd go right into the centre and there's nowhere more iconic in the city centre than the English market so it's an absolutely beautiful portrait and I hope you enjoy it and I hope it takes pride of place.
It's wonderful to be here uh, at this wonderful ceremony and it's the, uh, it's the Lord Mayor's Community and Voluntary Awards and it's the Social Services and Envir Environment um, category and uh, we're delighted and privileged really to be, to be able to award this wonderful organisation Let's Grow Together uh, based in Nakhnehini. When you think about it, we are actually all, we are growing together and never more so than during the last 12 to 15 months during COVID, when there have been so many challenges right across society. And the challenges, COVID aside, there, has all, there are always challenges for young families, young parents, young children. And to have an organization in our city, such as Let's Grow Together, is such a privilege for us. It's such a ma magnificent asset. And the work that Let's Grow Together do for young people in our society, young parents who've been presented with so many challenges. And thank you so much, uh, Catherine, and to your team mm. for the magnificent work you do in helping young people in what is always a very difficult time in their lives when they're starting off in life and when there are so many restrictions in place, uh, particularly with COVID and everything else that goes with it. But even COVID aside, there's a lot of challenges there, be it economical or mm -hmm. work or whatever the case may be. People are starting to get back on their feet, but to have somebody like your organisation to support parents, young children and families to get off to a good start and a solid start and to know that you're there for them. Goodness, it's very hard to follow that, uh, Lord Mayor, and thank you so much and Lady Mayoress. It's an absolute honour and privilege, I suppose, to accept this award. Very surprised to receive it um, and to be nominated and, and to receive it um, on behalf of the whole team, who are a wonderful team um, based in Nokmahini um, and also with the great support of our board of management. I suppose the last year has been extremely challenging, just like you said, for, for everybody in the city and organisations doing their very best. And this team have been through a lot of change in the last year as well. Um, but they always keep young families, children and the community in their minds and in their hearts. And they have never faltered, I suppose, at being very present with the community yeah. over the last 12 months. And, um, and, you know, trying to provide responses where they're needed um, in homes and in communities and even providing things like technological support or gifts for the home to support support the home environment so um, it's a real honour for them and I suppose they also all got involved in the community response forums across the whole area as well and initiatives like um, Let's Play Cork as well and amongst it all they also managed to launch um, the Dolly Parton's Imagination Library in the pandemic year which is eligible for 3,000 children in Cork at the moment so yeah. and we hope that will grow too so yes we're growing with the community and I suppose this is the first time we've been honoured in the new organisation moving from Young Nokmahini to Let's Grow Together so on behalf of everybody involved I'm really honoured to accept this award on their behalf thank you. Congratulations <laughs> Catherine. We're presenting the overall winner of this award uh, to Friendly Call. And, uh, you know, I've been reading about Friendly Call, but I've, I've known about Friendly Call and the magnificent work that this organisation has been doing for many years now. And um, we are so lucky in the city to have an organisation, not just during COVID times, reaching out to people in our, in our communities right across the city, people that are in need of continuous social contact, people that might be living alone and people that need to talk to somebody. And particularly now during COVID, many organisations, um, I suppose, reinvented themselves 
and did things differently and reached out to people. But Friendly Call have been doing this for many, many years and during COVID have ramped up a gear and are actually increasing their activity in terms of reaching out to so many sectors of our society and reinventing the way they do things. Um, not just reaching out to people on the phone, but actually visiting people and delivering prescriptions and uh, visiting people and so on. And nobody is left behind, which is of critical importance. And it is our privilege to present this beautiful award, beautiful painting, to Brenda here this morning in recognition of what you do for our city and the people of our city. So congratulations, Thanks Brenda, and congratulations to your magnificent team. You're the overall winner of the, the Lord Fantastic. Mayor's um, Community and Voluntary Awards 2021. So congratulations. Uh, we're so proud brilliant. to be here to be able to honor you. That's great. Yeah, I know it's, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. And it's, you know, we, we had slow starts, you know, throughout the years, but look, uh, COVID, we really upped our gear. We had a number of like, new referrals came in even on the first week of March and we had to rethink the way we even operate you know we had to get all our volunteers to make calls from home we had to get them mobile homes we had to get them credit we had to get them lists and we had to you know so it was just hectic and to be honest I never I never thought it was possible to do as much as we have to have you know we ring 370 people at the moment every day and that's 370 contacts you know that somebody we ring them you know, the onus isn't on the client to ring us. We ring them and check in and see if they're OK. And if they're not OK, you know, we do plenty of signposting. We can get, like, you know, shopping for people when needs be. And there was a need early on. Not so much at the moment, but even maintenance and problems with, you know, we had a lady there recently, three bulbs missing in her house and living on her own, and she couldn't no. change them. So get one of the lads to go up and change the bulbs, you know. So it's great to be able to connect people to services, to Meals and Wheels, to all the other organisations working around the city um, to help people. And look, this year, I suppose, people's mental health has been challenged and, you know, really exposed anxieties, you know. So it's been really tough for people. But look, and I know because people tell us, our clients tell us all the time how important the call is, how important it is to have someone to you know, to talk about their worries and their anxieties or to, or to give them advice and maybe just ring your doctor or just to tell them, you know, did you eat? Did you have a bit of exercise? And, and a friendly voice. So, look, I, I just I couldn't be prouder of, of all our volunteers and of all our clients and of the whole team. And Cork City Partnership really came on board and, you know, everybody in the partnership was helping with Friendly Call, especially, you know, on the first, well, for the whole year, really, you know. So we've been... We've been blessed with, with what we've been able to do, you know, so I'm just really proud of everybody. So. That concludes this year's celebration of the Lord Mayor's Community and Voluntary Awards and an acknowledgement of the contribution of Cork Myriad Community and Voluntary Organisations. All that remains is for me to thank those responsible for making tonight's event happen. Cork City Council ICT team for enabling this event to be live streamed on Cork City Council's website and social media platforms. The Echo, who have been our media partner in the Community and Voluntary Awards since they first took place and for their ongoing support. Eddie Noonan of Frameworks Films for their ongoing participation and their invaluable assistance in putting the video and photo montages that were central to tonight's event together. The Council Services section of Cork City Council's Corporate Affairs and International Relations Directorate. The Community Services section of our Community Culture and Placemaking Directorate. 
I hope you have enjoyed joining with us to celebrate this effort. Gurif Mahagrib.